Hi, this is Ken. I'm at the MTA 2010 convention covering via, uh, for VOD TV, and we're here with Larry Pierce. Larry uh, spoke about uh, identity theft and malware, so why don't you tell us a little bit about how those two are interrelated. Okay, well, the relationship between malware is it is the, the, the critical path where all of the identity is being stolen, or it, it's a path by which identities are being stolen. Malware finds itself resident on your machine. It can do things like logging every keystroke so that when you sit down to do online banking, make purchases through uh, Amazon or purchases through eBay or whatever, all that information is collected. And then at 2 o'clock in the morning, when you're sound asleep, your computer's still on, that information is sent to a filtering point somewhere, all that information is collected. The recipient of all that information then has a file that, believe it or not, he can go back to the web and say, I have this for sale. Who wants to buy it? Someone buys it. They can burn CDs or burn individual uh, uh, credit cards that are then sent out to uh, their leg people, their fit, foot people, their foot troops. They go out and they make purchases with everything, and they, the goods are then sold on eBay or Craigslist or, or taken back to stores for refunds. And uh, lo and behold, there's pots and pots of money that can then be distributed amongst the people who are perpetrating the evil. So, you know, the question is, I, I think my mom would ask this question, okay, great, I hear this thing malware, but how does it get onto my computer? Oh, <clears throat> it, it's interesting. You have to click something in order for it to get there. <clears throat> a lot of us have seen uh, a little pop-up window and that pop window, uh, when, it, when it opens up, it's, the first thing it says is, we suspect your computer has been infected. Click here to clean it off. Well, lo and behold, hidden behind that particular link is an active ex executable file or program that then manifests itself onto your hard disk. That becomes the key logger that captures all the information at the same time it's doing evil things to the inside of your computer. Uh, don't ever click the cancel button when you see that screen pop up because mm. the cancel button has been masquerading as an, actually, as an execute button. Yeah. Click the little X in the top corner because that's the one that will get you either. Or just turn the computer off really quickly. Get off mm -hmm. the internet quickly. You do not want that on your computer. I spent five days repairing one computer from the ground up after it had been uh, infected by one of those. It's, uh, it, it's evil. It could come from bad links. Uh, if you are a subscriber to Facebook or uh, one of those social networking sites where you see a lot of activity, where you get a lot of URLs sent mm -hmm. to you, a lot of links, the danger is in the links. Uh, places like Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, these are all great sites. The problem is that when people use them, they can unwittingly misuse them. So uh, best thing to do is just keep your, uh, your uh, virus detection up to date. If you're using McAfee or Norton or Kaspersky, make sure everything's up to date. Uh, run more than one software uh, tool. Mm -hmm. So if you have one that does malware, one that does uh, spam uh, on your computer, run them simultaneously. Uh, it's probably the best way to capture all the bad things that are going on. Yeah, and I've also heard just these whole chain emails uh, oh, yes. are also an issue, especially they you know, they kind of tug at your heartstrings, right? Oh, ignore those. You know, my husband passed away. He left me $500,000. I need a bank account to put this in offshore because uh, uh, our banking regulations here don't allow for this, that, or the other. You know, if you would send me your banking information, uh, I will transfer the money to your account. Yeah, right. And not, not in this lifetime. Yeah. So uh, that's not something you really want to do. Uh, phishing emails is what they're called. Uh, you can also see phishing done on uh, corporate sites as, or not, yeah, on corporate sites as well. Facebook is an example when they uh, change their uh, security structure. Uh, when you log on, you are directed to uh, a security page to update your security profile. However, someone got smart and compromised the Facebook site and did a redirection to another site that had another executable that when you clicked on it and you changed your security information, all that security information was then transmitted where it wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, it's, uh, they're notorious for the way they do, that, do what they do. And uh, I mean, it's, it's just one of the things you have to be aware of. Just don't click on anything that comes from someone you don't know. If you see a piece of email, 75% of the email we get is, is garbage. Mm -hmm. because someone else's computer has been compromised and we see a piece of that appear on our computer and say, oh, well, who's John Doe or who is Susie Q? Now, I don't know them. 
but yet we're tempted to go and open the link because we see something that looks interesting. Don't ever do it. Don't ever do it. Well, good advice, Larry. Appreciate your time. Thank you.